The Love Boat is an American television series set on a cruise ship, which aired on the ABC television network from May 5, 1977, until February 12, 1990. The show revolves around the ship's captain and a handful of its crew, with several passengers, played by different guest actors for each episode, having romantic and humorous adventures. It was part of ABC's popular Saturday Night lineup that included Fantasy Island until that show ended in 1984. The original 1976 made-for-TV movie on which the show was based was itself based on the non-fiction book The Love Boats by Geraldine Saunders, a real-life cruise director. Two more TV movies would follow before the series began its run. The executive producer for the series was Aaron Spelling, who produced several successful series for ABC from the 1960s into the 1980s. In 1997, the episode with segment titles, Hidden Treasure, Picture from the Past, and Ace's Salary, was ranked No. 82 on TV Guide's 100 Greatest Episodes of All Time. The Love Boat ran for 10 seasons, including specials, cast, Gavin McLeod as Captain Meryl Strubing, Bernie Coppell as Dr. Adam, Doc Bricker, Ship's Doctor, Fred Grandy as Bill, Gopher, Smith, Joman Purser, Ted Longy as Isaac Washington, Bartender, Lauren Hughes as Julie McCoy, Cruise Director, Jill Whelan as Vicky Stubing, The Captain's Daughter, Ted McGinley as Ashley, Ace Covington Evans, Ship's Photographer, Joman Purser, Pat Klaus as Judy McCoy, Julie's sister and successor as cruise director, Gavin McLeod, Bernie Coppell, and Ted Longley are the only cast members to appear in every episode of the series, including the last three made-for-TV movies. Fred Grandy was in every episode throughout the run of the series, but was not in the last of the TV movies. McLeod was not the captain in the first two TV movies, however, the viewers are told in Love Boat 2 that Gopher, Doc, Isaac, and the captain served together in Vietnam, but no reference to this is ever made to their shared history again. However, when McLeod's character was introduced, there was mention of him being the new captain. Among the series' attractions was the casting of well-known actors in guest-starring roles, with many famous film stars of yesteryear making rare television appearances. It was not the first comedy series to use the guest star cast anthology format. Love American Style used the formula seven years earlier, but The Love Boat had such success with the formula that future shows in similar style were inevitably compared to The Love Boat. The show was followed on Saturday nights on ABC by Fantasy Island, which was also produced by Aaron Spelling, and had a similar format. Episodes Production. The one-hour sitcom was usually set aboard a Princess Cruiser's cruise liner called Pacific Princess. Other ships used were Twin Sister Island Princess, Stella Solaris, Pearl of Scandinavia, a Royal Viking Sky and Royal Princess and Sun Princess. In 1981, P&O Cruises Sea Princess was also used for the special two-hour episode Julie's Wedding, set in and around Australia, and guest starring Lloyd Bridges, Catherine Helmond, Harry Morgan, Patrick Duffy and Anthony Andrews, among others. After being renamed the MS Pacific and spending its golden years owned by a cruise line in Spain, the Pacific Princess was retired to Turkey in 2013, where it is being scrapped by a shipbreaking company because no buyer could be found for it. For its first seven years, the Love Boat was very successful in the ratings. During that time, it ranked among the top 20, and even the top 10. For the 1980-81 season, it posted its highest rating at no. 5. By the start of the 1984-85 season, the ratings were beginning to drop, and at the end of the following year, The Love Boat was cancelled after nine years on ABC, although four three-hour specials aired during the 1986-87 season. Writing format Another unique aspect of The Love Boat was its writing format. 
Each episode contained several simultaneous storylines, each one written by a different set of writers. Each set of writers worked on one group of guest stars and their story of the week. As a result of this, episodes ended up with ungainly titles like Disco Baby, Alas, Poor Dwyer, After the War, Ticket to Ride, Itsy Bitsy. Part 1. This also led to notorious continuity errors, most notably in Julie's outfits during boarding and disembarkation, which were often inconsistent between storylines. Even though the cast of Charlie's Angels had been on separate episodes of the show, there was a crossover episode of the show in which the lady detectives had a case on the ship. On rare occasions, there would be crossovers between the stories. In one episode, actors Robert Reed and Florence Henderson, formerly of the Brady Bunch, guest starred in separate segments. In one scene, the two pass each other in a corridor, Executor, Do I Know You, Double Take, and then continue on their separate ways without talking. In a one-time Fantasy Island crossover episode, the cruise ship makes a detour to deliver a troubled woman to the mysterious island, and her storyline continued on that show. There were usually three storylines. Usually, one storyline focused around a member of the crew, a second storyline would often focus on a crew member interacting with a passenger, and the third storyline was more focused around a passenger. The three storylines usually followed a similar thematic pattern. One storyline was straight-ahead comedy, the second would typically follow more of a romantic comedy format. The third storyline would usually be the most dramatic of the three, often offering few laughs and a far more serious tone. Laugh Track the series was also distinctive as being one of the few hour-long series ever made for American television that used a laugh track. Theme song and title sequence The Love Boat theme song was sung by Jack Jones. The lyrics were written by Paul Williams with music by Charles Fox. The song has since been recorded and released commercially by Tara in 1978 and Amanda Lear in 2001. The opening sequence for the series underwent three different changes over the years. From seasons 1 to 8, the opening sequence began with a long shot of the ship before the camera slowly zoomed in onto its bridge area. This was followed by posing shots of the crew members at different points on the ship set. The long shot footage of the ship was used for the credits of the celebrity guest stars. For only the first season, the guest stars were credited by having their names appear on the screen while the show's logo, a radar, compass-style circle with four hearts, wrapped around them. Starting with season two, the compass was graphically put in place and at its center, the guest stars were shown posing for the camera on different parts of the set while their names appeared at the bottom of the screen. For the final season, the compass was replaced by a crescent wave and the long shots of the ship were replaced by a montage of the various locations traveled to on the show. At the center of the wave graphic, the guest stars were shown posing for the camera wearing their formal outfits against different colored backgrounds. Sequels, spin-offs and crossovers. A 1979 episode of another Aaron Spelling series, Charlie's Angels, had that show's characters trying to recover a stolen statue while aboard the Pacific Princess on a Caribbean cruise. In 1982, The Love Boat Goes to Fantasy Island was a 90-minute back-to-back of each show the episode started on The Love Boat and the guest stars finished on Fantasy Island. In 1998 TV reunion movie, The Love Boat, A Valentine Voyage, aired on CBS. A second TV series, The Love Boat, The Next Wave, aired on UPN from 1998 to 1999, with Robert Urich as Captain Jim Kennedy, a retired United States Navy officer, Phil Morris as Chief Purser Will Sanders, and Heidi Mark as Cruise Director Nicole Jordan. A two-part 1996 Martin episode, Goan, Overboard, had the main characters going on a cruise and encountering Isaac, Julie, Doc, and Vicky. Isaac Washington also appeared in a 2005 episode of The King of Queens, The Blacklist. DVD releases, 
CBS DVD has released seasons 1 and 2 of The Love Boat on DVD in Region 1 and 4. Each season has been released in two volume sets. International Syndication